Okay, so in this extension, what we're going to do is we are going to add the ability to load an image that you may have already drawn into your canvas so that if you were um, drawing this image and you needed to stop and save your work and then you wanted to keep working on it, you would be able to do that. Now, this extension isn't perfect. There are some limitations on um, the browser that make it a little bit um, complicated and you have to kind of work around it but it could be really worth doing especially if you want to do a complex art piece so to get started the first thing we need to do is we're going to add a button that we can press that will load the image so I'm going to do this by adding some HTML up in my menu um, so I want it before the closing div tag and after the opening div tag for the menu I'm going to put it actually right after my save button um, so I'm going to say button ID equals, and I'm going to call this one load, and then I am going to, I'm going to call it load image, say load an old drawing, and I'm going to close the button tag, save refresh and now I have um, a button it's a little bit of a long text so we'll say load old drawing there you go all right the next thing I need to do is I'm going to save myself some time and declare a variable that gets my button so underneath my bar canvas I'm gonna add bar button I'm gonna call this button load equals document dot get element by ID the ID we said was load image semicolon make sure you check your spelling and capitalization and it matches the ID that you have for your um, load old drawing button the next thing I can do is we're gonna actually add an event listener that listens for that to click once it clicks we'll actually write code that will load an image from your um, desktop onto your project canvas. Now if your project is in your documents folder then you're going to need to have the image that you're loading inside your documents folder. Basically your project document, your Matisse first last name dot HTML document needs to be in the same location as the image you want to load for this to work. So just to show you what I mean, um, this is the image, image.png that I'm going to load. And right here on my desktop is my project code that I'm actually working on. So they're both on my desktop. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing we're going to do, like I said, is that event listener. So we're going to do this for a button load. I'm going to add this at the bottom of my JavaScript underneath all of my other um, JavaScript code. So button.load, add event listener. We're listening for a click event. Don't forget your comma. We're going to call a function that I'm going to name insert image. We don't need to pass it any parameters. We need our curlies. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the closing part of my event listener is good. So closing curly, closing parenthesis, closing semicolon. Because we're actually going to call a function within this event listener. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a new um, variable called image or img var img equals new image oh, empty parentheses semicolon the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the source of the image where the browser will be able to find the image we're going to load so image.src equals quotes img.png that's where my image is located there's no slashes, there's no folders because they're both on the desktop or they could both be in your documents folder. Image.png matches the file name for this file, this image on my desktop. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to call um, a function that will load this image into our drawing canvas. So image.onload equals function empty parentheses curly bracket 
CTX, we're going to tell it to draw the image onto our canvas. Draw image, IMG, which is our new image. We want to start in the top left corner and then fill our entire canvas. So something to note is that you want to make sure that your canvas is the full size of your browser and then um, whenever you load that image in that it's also the full size of your browser. So the, the browser um, window needs to be the same for it to not look distorted when you load it back in. So it's going to be img00 canvas.width, that'll take up the full width of the canvas, and canvas.height, semicolon to close it out. Now, we're going to test out this code. When you save your image, so if I press the save button, this image that pops up when I right click and click save image as, I need to save it just as image, or IMG, I'm sorry, on my desktop to replace my old image. Um, that's because this file name, this image.src equals img.png, those need to match each time. Otherwise, when you go to load it again, it's not going to work. Okay, so I'm going to load my old drawing. I'm going to save my work first. Refresh my page. Press load drawing. And we can see that this old drawing that I had came back up. I can still draw on it and keep going with my work. Now the part that gets weird is if I press save again, nothing is going to work. This is because, and you can right click, click inspect element, there are some things that the browser is trying to prevent you from doing. Um, it's not going to let you draw an image and then save it again because it doesn't want you to make changes to your local to, um, uh, files. So there's still a way to work around this. You can go ahead and close that. You can actually just right click on your canvas and let's say this was your final drawing, you can click save image as. You can say IMG, it's still gonna be on our desktop. This is gonna replace our old file. We'll say yes, replace it. All right, now if I tried to load an old drawing, nothing would happen. What I need to do is refresh the browser. And I can click load old drawing and my updated drawing will come back in. So it's not perfect, but this can be a really good way to save your progress if you're working on your artwork. All right.